Welcome amigos to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. We've got an exciting tutorial today. We're gonna to be learning about shape layers in motion graphics. It's gonna be very stylized, inspired by Cowboy Bebop, the TV show. We're gonna do something similar like this. And all of these, these boxes, they can easily be done with shape layers. So let's get, let's go right to Premiere and then quickly we'll go to After Effects. So here we have, this is our clip. This is a section that we'll be working on. So we have the, sh the clip, the shot, and then it freezes. So let's select both clips, hit Control C. Let's go to video track number two. Let's paste it, select both clips, and then right click and go to replace with After Effects and it'll throw it into After Effects. This is what we have. You'll see that the freeze frame didn't go through. So what we need to do is we need to freeze it. So right click, go to time, freeze frame. And this one actually, let's call this cut out. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna cut this one out. And to cut it out, let me temporarily boost up the curve so we can see what's going on. Select the pen tool and let's cut them out. Let's cut out spike. Let's cut them out using the pen tool. You know, I've realized that the pen tool in After Effects is way better than the pen tool in, in Photoshop. I don't know why, but I wish they had the same pen tool in Photoshop as they do in After Effects because After Effects is really nice. You can color code it. It's easier to, for some reason, it's just easier to work with. So take your time, amigos. I'm taking my time a little bit here. It should take you maybe about five minutes to do this. Let's fast forward so you can see the final, final result. So we have spike cut out completely. And let's go back to the color curve. Let's take it away. And you know what? It's a little bit dark, so let's add Lumetri, let's go to color correction. Remember, Lumetri is one of the best color correction tools that's out there right now. Let's bump up the, the shadows, about 30. Let's bump up the blacks again to about 30, maybe 40. And let's give it a little bit of contrast. Bump up the shadows again to 42. Let's do the same thing. Let's copy this and let's put this on the footage. So we have it consistent. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so we have the cutout. And then the next thing, let's make this black and white. So go to effect, color correction, black and white. And we want it, make it more, <laughs> we want to make it more like a cartoon. It is a cartoon, but we want to define more the edges of, of Spike. So what we can do is go to effect, stylize cartoon and you can see it's a lot a lot more defined the edges now let's go back to premiere we want to sample this color so let's take a screenshot let's do print screen let's go into photoshop let's paste it select your eyedropper and copy your hex code right here Control c hit ok go back to after effects let's create a new solid and paste in the hex code hit ok bring it down what we're going to do is we're going to use the blending mode now we're going to blend him let's experiment let's see how the multiply multiply it looks okay but not exactly what we want let's go to hard light hard light works perfect it looks really nice and what we can do now is we want to add, maybe let's add some, some background. Let's add some mountains. And we have this cool picture. Let's go to assets. We have this cool picture of mountains. We can add in the background. So let's go down. Let's bring it. And let's scale it. Now, as you can see, we can see the mountains through his face. And that's because we're using the blending mode. By using the blending mode hard light, it's cutting out. Uh, the image of uh, the face anything that is white is you can see through so what we need to do is we need to cut that part out So the easiest way to do this is let's go to our cutout. Let's make a copy 
let's call this cutout mask and go back to the black and white and cartoon let's delete these effects we can go to effect generate fill let's fill it with black and this will be a mask for us and let's move it down let's color code these two let's make it blue and we're going to use a track mat and we're going to use alpha mat nope it's the other way it's alpha inverted mat there you go and if you don't see the track mat amigos you got to click on this icon right here to enable your track mat so you can see it and we can use a blending mode as well for the background just experiment have fun amigos that's that's one of the one of the things i enjoy the most is trying out different blending modes and see what works we can make this background image the mountains we can make it black and white make it consistent and you can add some levels and with the levels you can play how you can play around and experiment how much you want to show how much details you want to show in the image keep it like this and then click on the text tool and let's type in spike there's a cool font and it's called bleeding cowboys let's make it bigger you can put it here and we can create another text let's call this cowboy bebop and we can change it to another cool font called ifc railroad so let's select all these go to layer pre-comp and let's call this cutout pre-comp perfect and then we can splice it here so it starts at this point now let's create the boxes the boxes amigos we're going to create it with shape layers now the shape layers you create it with this the rectangle tool you can use a rectangle any of these tools you can use for shape layers but here's a trick here's the thing you got to be careful if you have any layer selected and you click on the rectangle tool you're creating a mask now in order to create the shape layer, you have to make sure that there is no, nothing selected in your composition. There is no layer selected. So deselect all your layers, control shift A. If you click, now you're creating shape layers. So what I like to do is double click and it'll create a shape layer the size of your composition. If we, if we drill down to rectangle, we can play around with the size. So let's make it like this size. Let's bring it in. About, let's make it about 160. Let's move it over. Now we have to create several rectangles. Now you might say, hey, okay, cool. Let's create another shape layer. Let's create another one. There's an easier way to do it. Remember, amigos, there's no wrong or right right way of doing anything. It's, it's however you can get it done, really, and just be creative. So there's millions of ways of doing this. You can create another rectangle, another rectangle. You can create up to six or seven, or you can copy and paste. But I want to show you a really cool feature, and it's called Repeater. So click on this little tr triangle and go to Repeater. And let's say we want seven copies. And let's go to the Transform properties of the Repeater. And we're going to move the, the position a little bit over. And we can push this over here. So, And the cool thing about this as well is that this little repeater you can animate you can animate the copy so let's put a keyframe here and then let's go forward in time let's add another keyframe so at the beginning let's say there's no no copies there's zero so it's going to animate them in one by one so we play it back it's going to go one two three four five six seven and what we can do is let's call this boxes you can use the track mat go to alpha mat and here it is we're almost there the last step that we have to do is we need to have the original footage behind it so let's make a copy of this let's extend this over splice it here remember we're going to freeze frame so right click go to time freeze frame almost there It's almost there because we don't want to show 
what's here on the edges. So what we need to do is we need to make a copy of the boxes, make a copy. Let's go down here. Let's color code this so it's easier to see. It's yellow. And what we need to do is we're going to delete the keyframes. It's a, so it's already going to be in there. Let's hide this already. Let's hide this. And let's put the track mat as alpha mat. So when we play it back, that's what we have. Basically, it goes, it goes, and then hard cut to this image. And on top of that, we're going to add the effect that we just created. And that's how you easily make this little cool animation with shape layers. Now we can go back to our cutout. You know, you can change around the position of Spike, Cowboy Bebop, the, you know, let's say you want to add some some elements, some stock footage, some atmosphere. Let's add some atmosphere around here. Let's go back. And there you have it, amigos. Pretty simple. You learn how to use shape layers to create a simple animation, the repeater, so you can repeat the boxes. And once again, we're using track mat, track mat and blending modes to create this little cool motion graphic style, stylized, inspired by Cowboy Bebop, the TV series. That is it for our tutorial, amigos. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe to our channel. And your homework, very easy homework is, number one is to join the community of the School of Motion Graphics. Click on the link below. And number two is go out, create some shape layers, use the repeater that I showed you, and use a track mat, put yourself or put any other footage behind it so it's only showing in the little circle or in the little box. That is your homework. Post it on our Facebook group. And amigos, always stay creative. Let it flow like agua from Managua. I'm CM De La Vega. Till next time.